Oh boy! Oh god! <laughs> I guess that one. Uh, yeah, that was a trap. Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name's Critter XD. In today's video, I'll be watching and reacting to the newest episode of The House of the Dragon Season 2. That's episode 6, The Small Folk. I don't want to wait any longer. I want to watch it because once again, this is Monday night. I didn't get to watch it on Sunday night and I'm excited to see it because I've avoided spoilers up until now. Before I get started though, I will say if you like what you see here, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell for notifications for when I post new content and go live. And if you want to take your support to the next level, you could become a patron on Patreon or a member on YouTube. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. Anything new? Okay. Was that new? <laughs> I was like, I feel like if anything was gonna be added to the tapestry, it would be the giant dragon fight at Rook's Rest. So was that that? Tell my brother we are ready to march. As soon as Prince Aemond is able to join us. This guy's got the Lannister attitude down. Also, the fact that he just walks around with a lion in a cage. <laughs> like, my god. Lannister to his core. Take what strength we have and force Damon and his river lords to fight on two fronts. His grace speaks wisely. We would do better to await the Anything to get Chris and Cole out. There is no time. To... Mother? A word. Oh, what do we got here? And its arrogance. Neither of which is to be desired in you of your seat. Such as it was. Wow. Uh... We would be much pleased to return to more. Domestic pursuit. Oh my god. This is her nightmare. But she did make this bed that she's lying in. I swore to ward my queen with all my strength and to give my blood for hers. That is my oath, your grace. I mean, this guy, he's got the cojones! The gods will favor us. But will it work out? Time will tell. Okay, are we back on Nightmare Damon? I assure you. God, yes. <laughs> I'm watching you, man. Is it you? Stop watching me. Stop watching me. It's kind of hard when you're banging on the door of the room that he's in. You are not the player, but a piece on the board. You're a witch, Alice. The crown. You spared it no thought. Well, that's perhaps why your brother gave the crown to her. Perhaps those who strive for it are the least suited to wear it. Don't lecture me! Oddly suitable for this week. In three days' time, the winds will shift. What's happening in three days? Is she a prophet? I mean, obviously. Look at that owl. The signs are there. Okay, how do we think this is gonna go? <laughs> I don't know, this guy doesn't look like a dragon rider to me. I know they don't all have silver hair. But none of them really look like him either. Here we go! These guys and their sticks. What are they gonna do? For real? For real? You're showing fear. You're showing too much fear. There's a lot of fear there. It, it feels like a trap! Oh, have you? Oh boy! Oh god! <laughs> I guess that one. Uh, yeah, that was a trap. That was a trap. Mm -hmm. Oh no, the poor stick guy. Hey, this is what he signed up for. He knew he could die. Rumors, rumors. Wonder where those came from. And his rightful heir denied her seat. Oh, oh, careful how loud you say that, lady. But the seeds are being planted. Few, but. We may yet retake. Okay. It is my fault, I think, that you have forgotten to fear me. You shut your mouth when you're talking to me. <laughs> Maybe not, but it is harder to wage war abroad when you must also keep peace at home. 
So wise. Then let us see to our plan. Every king needs a hand. So make it your responsibility. <clears throat> My prince, it is an honor I never considered for myself. Not to serve his hand, you toad. To fetch oh. him. Send word to Otto Ida. This kid gets it. This kid gets it. Ugh. Oh. Stealing sheep? Sheep stealer? It is large and formidable, but alas, wild. Alas. Maybe Unmatched. for her? The sea snake would sooner have high tide claimed by the sea than call us his sons. I mean, obviously not. He's inviting you to be on his ship with him. That feels like a step in the right direction. Are they sending food? Are they sending food? I kind of like it. Is that what's happening? It is. It is food. Okay, smart. Oh, lots of food. Okay. It's going to get some brownie points with the populace. My son, Daron. What's he like? Oh, she's never met him? Less and less these days. Or he doesn't. Obviously, she's met him. She's his mom. Six now. He's kind. No thanks to you, lady. <laughs> was it the court? Was it their mother? Good question. Good question. You your best. And that was the last time they looked at each other. I mean, how do they not, like, notice his hair? How is his hair not, like, a... <laughs> immediate ping for them. I don't know. It seems pretty pretty silvery. Why would they not stay in the church? Aren't churches like typically exempt from stuff like this? Feels like a pretty defensible position. No. <laughs> uh. Yikes. Why would they have not stay in the church? They didn't know they were there. Dumb. Oh, Lord. Yeah, you made him sheath the sword. Can't really defend himself then, can he? Hallucination Station. That's what they call Hall these days. Lord Grover is dead. Uh, Has it been three days? The old man. Indeed. There was not more to be done. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Not more to be done than what she did. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, here he comes. Dragon's been flirting with this guy for a little bit. Time to take it to the next level. Woo! <laughs> Could have seen that one coming. Okay. Is this finally our meat cute? Well, the tension was definitely there. The dragon sea smoke has been sighted flying over Spystaff. Yes, he does that. <laughs> From what we have heard. He has a rider. <laughs> okay, that's some news. Possible to tell from the ground. Oh, boy. 
Not so much the greens. A little dragon likes dipping his wing in the water. Oh, okay. Okay, that's it. That's it. Well, well, well. How the turntables. Okay, well, I feel like it's just a matter of time before Sea Smoke's writer, whose name I already forgot. It's like Paul or some like normal name. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, it's not Paul. It, whatever. Whatever his name is. I, he's going to be on the side of Rhaenyra, right? Because his dad is the ship guy. You get it. You get it. Sorry, the names are completely escaping me tonight. Once again, I have read Fire and Blood, but it's been a while and I forgot most of it, so. <laughs> sea Snake, I believe. That's the guy's name? Well, that's his, like, title. It doesn't matter. Truly doesn't matter, because we've got another dragon, but it sounds like there's gonna be another dragon on the other side, so it's... It's just still mutually assured destruction, which I guess is a fun concept, but, you know, for the people living it, yikes, not the best, not the best. Um, so I think this episode was very consequential in the grand scheme of the plot. It, it wasn't particularly thrilling, but there were some good moments. Sea, sea smoke, you know, rejecting the one guy, picking the other guy, good moment. Rhaenyra and the White Worm having their own, having their little, having their little thing. Good moment. Good moment. The riots. Good moment. The plotting. Some good moments. And there's only two episodes left, so I can only imagine. I mean, usually in these seasons, the penultimate episode is always going to be a banger, and then the finale's got to top that. So we basically only have things to look forward to from here. <laughs> which is pretty exciting. I still maintain that an eight episode season is idiotic and I think prestige television should minimum get 10, if not more, but you know, who am I? Who am I talking to? Who's gonna listen to me? Nobody. I would love to see, I think Reyna, I would love to see Reyna get Sheep Stealer, the dragon, you know, I assume, the dragon that's up there with her, like, all the other dragons have rejected her. Everybody perceives her as, you know, not worthy or too weak or, you know, just not a dragon rider. If she could turn it around on them and tame a, a wild dragon that no one is taking into account, that would be, that would be really cool. Since she has basically just been designated the, you know, I don't know, nursemaid for all of Rhaenyra's children at this point, that could be a super cool redemption arc. That's going to be it for me. Let me know how you felt about this episode in the comments. What you think is going to happen in the last two episodes, assuming you don't already know, because I would like to avoid the spoilers to the extent that I don't already kind of know them because I've read the books. I don't know. At least mark your spoilers so I know what to expect whenever you're typing them. How's that sound? Let me know how you like this episode just generally. If it, you know, where it ranks for you in the season. That was episode six. We've had five before this. I think there have been some real, real bangers. Like, what was it? Episode four with the dragon fight. That was wild. Best episode for sure. Um, and we'll see if seven and eight top it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, once again, if you like what you see here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button on the video. Hit the little bell for notifications for when I post new content and go live. And if you want to take your support to the next level, you can join by becoming a patron on Patreon or a member on YouTube. I do want to say thank you so much to my current members and patrons. You guys are thebomb.com. And that's it for me. I hope you have an amazing night slash day slash whatever you're doing. Bye!